Oh, awesome! Waka Waka! Hey guys, Edgy Spitta here, back for another LEGO Mixel Series 6 review. This time I have Vaka Waka. Now, Vaka Waka is a member of the Munchos tribe from Series 6. If you enjoyed this review, make sure you guys go check out my other Mixel reviews on my channel. I've done many other Series 6 reviews as well. Now, Vaka Waka here has 69 pieces and is set number 41553. Up here on the top right, you can see his name as well as him in his cartoon state on Cartoon Network. In the middle here, you obviously have him in his brick-built form, and then, of course, an advertisement for Cartoon Network, so you guys can go ahead and check out the show. Now, on the back of the packaging here, I really like all the purple that's going on. You can see if you get all three of the Munchos, you can make Munchos Max, in which is one of my favorite Maxes that has ever came out, I think. Now, it also shows over here a checklist, or a little bit of a graph, showing all the different LEGO Mixels Series 6. So, overall, very nice packaging, as they always do. You can see this really awesome background, but without further ado, let's go ahead, open up Vaka Waka, and show you guys what he has to offer. Here we have Vaka Waka, all built up. First thing you notice about him is his two sets of eyes. He's got the smaller Mixel eyes down here, as well as one of the very large Mixel eyes up on the top. Another thing you notice automatically are the little pieces of food he's carrying, or these little Lego pieces that are usually used for lights. In this case, they are used for food or something he's eating because he is in the Munchos tribe, so he obviously has to have something that he is munching on. I really like all the colors that are going on with this tribe. They look very nice with the different shades of um, purple. Vaka Walker in particular has a lot of just dark purple. However, you do see the lighter purple, more of like a... Like a um, like a lavender or pinkish pinkish purple down here on his feet, which I really like. Some of the other uh, Mixels from the Munchos tribe have more of that color, but I really like how all these colors fit together with Vaka Waka. Looks very nice. You can see the hinges there for his arms, as well as these red hinges here on the back, which I'll show you in a little bit what that does. Vaka Waka is like one of the only Mixels um, basically ever that has an actual kind of play feature that, uh, in which he can actually eat those little pieces of candy or food that he has in his hands. One thing to note also is that the teeth down here on his lower mouth are not the, re not the white color that we usually get. It's actually a dark tan, which is pretty interesting. Meanwhile, his teeth up there up here are white, so I don't know, does he not brush his teeth or something, or does he just eat too much candy? Who knows? Now, um, we'll start down here on his feet. You can see that his feet has the ball and socket joints, so he has a lot of posability down there. Uh, nothing really going on with his feet, just have uh, some purple cheese slopes right there. Now, obviously, you can see into his mouth right there. You can't actually get in there because there is another one of these clear pieces that you see here on the back that is also there in the front. So you actually cannot put any, any of these pieces of food right there. It will not go in. However, there is a way to get into that, and that is up here with his mouth. You saw those hinges on the back? Well, his mouth can actually open up, and there is a hole inside in which you can have him throw in some of his food. And whenever you drop it in there, you can have him close his mouth once again, and his food is in his stomach. You can see it in his stomach right there. You can fit a whole bunch of Lego pieces in there, or at least little Lego studs, or these little candy pieces that come with him. You can fit both of them in there, but there you can see the one piece of green candy. Now, obviously, just to get that out, you do just need to dump it out, and it will come out of his mouth. So, that is the main play feature here with Vaka Waka. Obviously, you have some posability with all these bond socket joints around with him, but I really do like that feature of him being able to eat. I think it's very clever and goes very well with the tribe of Munchos. Uh, here on his arms are very, very easy, just simple Mixel arms that we see a lot. And uh, up here on the top, I really like how they design the top of his head with the one big eye right here, which you can actually move around if you want, but it's pretty hard to get to because of this nose piece. If you take off that nose piece, you can actually move this eye around, so you can uh, change it to different positions if you want him to look uh, different. 
But that is pretty much it for this Vaka Waka Mixel. I think he looks pretty cool. You guys can discuss down in the comment section what you guys think of him. And uh, I really like this back right here that you can see into his stomach as well. I think it's very clever. And overall, once again, a very successful Mixel. Like I say in a lot of these Mixel videos and all LEGO reviews, you guys can express your thoughts on this set down below in the comment section down below. Discuss what your favorite features are about this Vaka Waka Mixels. Maybe what you don't like about him. Are you going to be getting this guy or not? Is he your favorite ga character in the Munchos tribe? On, in all honesty, he is definitely my favorite. I really like the play feature of him being able to actually eat the little pieces of food that he's grabbing onto. And overall, just a wonderful... Muncho Mixel. So that is pretty much it for my part here. I will show the instruction manual uh, once again for the back inserts. Uh, shows the rest of Series 6 Mixels as well as his code for Mixels Rush. His code is Double Trouble, except for a few of the letters um, switched out for ones. Now, also, the last page here that is of any interest to you guys is the Munchos Max page. Just a little bit of a better look um, rather than on the back of the packaging. So that is pretty much it for this Vaka Waka review. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Like I said, I am AG Spitta. Thank you guys so much for watching. I play uh, Mixels Rush gameplay. If you guys would like uh, to check that out, I would highly appreciate that. There is a link down in the description of this video for more more Mixel reviews as well as Mixel's Rush gameplay. So you guys can go ahead and check that out if you have enjoyed. But until next time, I'm AAG Spitta. Subscribe if you are new and like this video and share it to all your other LEGO Mixel fans. And I'll see you guys next video as always.